Okay, I was uh, going to do a little video on uh, nickel plating. Uh, I'm going to show you all the steps that I went through to nickel plate the little zoomy tubes that I nickel plated. And uh, so here we go. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is, well the first thing you got to do is order up some nickel <laughs> or acquire uh, some nickel somewhere and this is I ordered this off of uh, eBay it came on it came in one it came in one piece it came in one piece and I tin snipped it in half so I have the nickel and the next thing you'll need is some type of jar and I just have this isn't just an old wide mouth mason jar um, my solutions are back there that I used but I want to make more because I want to do some bigger pieces so I want to make some more solution so anyway so I'm going to go through the process okay so the first thing you want to do is in, in the jar is just any old white vinegar. This is a great value Walmart brand I think is what it is. Um, white vinegar. If I can get the top off of it. Oh this is a this is a full jar. This is <laughs> I, I swiped this out of the house. <laughs> Don't tell my wife. <clears throat> Open it up and we'll just fill this jar up. Get this cap spun out of the way so I can fill her up. Fill her up pretty close to the top. All right. So there we go. We got the vinegar in the jar. See, I have a bottle of my own out here, and uh, I forgot. Okay. So then the next thing you need. Just more than ionized salt. And got to do a precise measurement here. Ha ha ha. No, you don't. I just put in uh, about that much. About that much in my hand. And I dumped that in there. And uh, if I had the lid, I would take and shake it up. But I don't have the lid here. So I got a old wooden doll here. And I just kind of stir it up, get that get that salt and what the salt does is increases or decreases the resistance between the two plates so that the current can flow uh, a little stronger all right then the next thing I need I need two jumper wires and that's what I've been using is just jumper wires that uh, but you can uh, you could use a clothespin, a uh, battery clip, um, poke a hole in the, you could actually poke a hole in the, um, your nickel plate and do it that way, hang it. Um, we'll just use these two here. So you, can, you could poke holes in your nickel plate or you know, however you want to hang them in, in there. You could use a clothespin and then clip it and then attach a jumper wire to it. And hopefully this clip will hold it. That's pretty loose. Pretty loose. I might have to get something else too. That side's pretty tight. And what I'm going to do is just gonna hang it down in there. I'm gonna take and go get a, a clothespin. Gonna get a close couple clothespins here. I think a couple clothespins will work to hold it in place. So I'll just take and put a couple clothespins on them. Just kind of hold it in there and, and maybe not. 
maybe I won't. You could, you could bend this. Uh, it's pretty stout material that I ordered. <laughs> okay, I need a bigger. I need some bigger closeness. I got. I have some plastic ones. Some plastic clips. Well, they don't open any bigger. Uh, I have some old battery cable clips too that I've used. I'll just use those then. They're just a couple old battery cable clips. Like I said, you could just take and poke a hole in there and, and hang them with a piece of wire. Yeah, that'll work. And I get it down into the solution as far as I can. And I put it, put them opposite of each other, one on one side of the jar, and one on the other side of the jar. There we go. All right. So, and then I'll just put the two jumper wires on, on the plates. One's going to be. One is going to be negative and one's going to be positive. So, just like that. And like, well, for crying out loud. I think it's a different jumper cable. This one doesn't, want to, doesn't seem to want to grip. There we go. I just put it on the battery cable. I bought a, a clock out here. I was going to set the uh, stopwatch. Okay, so now the next thing you need is either a, a battery pack like this. This has just got four double A's in it. Or you can use an old uh, um, USB charger, a phone charger or whatever, you know. They all put out uh, five and a half volts. And what you do is you... Cut the end off and strip the wires, and it's all—it's going to be the black and the red wires that you're going to use. So we're just going to use this wall charger. So I'll clip the black one on one and red one on the other, and I'll just lay this battery on the. So it doesn't move off, fall off the, t and I plug that in, and then we just sit and wait for the magic to happen. You should be uh, seeing bubbles on the negative side, and I'm not seeing anything right now. I'm not sure that this charger works. I think it does. Oh yeah. Yeah, if you look real close, I don't know if you can see it or not. If you look real close on the plate on this side over here, there's bubbles forming. Now, if you warm up your vinegar and you warm it up, it'll go a little quicker. And uh, it's, it's, I don't know if I can get the camera over there to zoom in and show you the plate but you can see the bubbles oops auto focus there see the bubbles coming up on it all right so you, you just let it sit there and and uh, churn away um, this part of the process takes the longest uh, making your solution um, Depending on the temperature of your of your vinegar, it can be two to three hours. If it's cold, it can be a day. You, you and you could make it go faster by increasing the voltage. Negative side. Now, if you decide to use the batteries, you do the same thing. Just the negative wire is the, the side that's going to be bubbling, which was, was on that side. I'll just take, hook the battery up. That actually might um, put out a little more amperage than that uh, charger, because those chargers don't put out a whole lot. 
and it's bubbling away. It's bubbling about the same. It might be a little more. But anyway, you can actually see it's it's actually starting to already get a little bit of a blue tinge to it. But um, oh shoot, I was gonna turn this on um, if I could figure out how to do it. Alarm. I thought there was a stopwatch on this. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> Hmm. I'll have to round up a stopwatch and and uh, this alarm. It just has an alarm on it. <clears throat> but well, you can see the time anyway. It was ten ten thirty five. And we'll let it sit and, and uh, bubble away when it starts to get a little blue tinge on it. I'll come back and I'll start the camera back up and, and we'll look at the time and we'll see how long it took to get to that, po to, to that point. Um, and I do, have, I do have some more zoomy pipes to do. These are the ones I did, which I, I like. The, I mean, I like the, the way they turned out. They turned out pretty nice. So, I'll need to clean them. I cannot stress how much you have to clean them. You, ha you, you have to get all your fingerprints and oils and whatever. It's best if you clean them and actually use some uh, gloves because you don't want to, everywhere you touch, you're not, you're going to get a, it's, it's not going to take. The, the nickel plate will not take then. And nickel plate's not going to cover up scratches and stuff, so you want to buff you want to buff them out pretty good before you go ahead and nickel plate. So I will sit down and and uh, clean these up real good. Um, I use uh, um, oh where is it? It's another Walmart brand that I use. That I used, and it's just a uh, Zep heavy duty citrus degreaser. And I went ahead and scrubbed them with this and then rinsed them in hot water and then didn't touch anything and then put them in, in, uh, in the solution. And, and, uh, and then you have, there you have it. So I will, like I say, I'll be back when it starts to turn blue and uh, we're, when we get a little closer, it's 10.37, it's only been a couple minutes and I don't know if it's my imagination, but I think I see a little bit of blue tinge in it already, so. Oh, another thing, when it's going like this, if you notice the bubbles start to not be so much, Flip the cords, flip the, flip it around, and let the other side bubble. It'll actually clean the plate that's been bubbling, and there'll be a like a on one of the plates anyway. They'll it'll be a like a, a white buildup. I'm not sure what that white buildup is. If it's a, I don't, I don't know. It's <laughs> but that'll it, the bubbling. Oh, it's the positive side that builds that builds up. And when you switch it around, the bubbling will knock that off and it'll fall down to the bottom. That doesn't matter. You can see it in my nickel plate that I've been using. You can, you can see it down in the bottom here. So if I shook it up, it'll get all cloudy. You, you, you could probably filter that out with, with uh, uh, a coffee filter or something, pouring it through, but it's just lays on the bottom it doesn't hurt anything but like I say it'll slow your process down because the bubbling or the, the, the electricity the electrons can't go back and forth because that white stuff that builds up on that plate will actually slow it down and 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 then it'll take much longer also I just discovered that by mistake I, I don't know I just 
I seen that happening and, and God, it's not doing anything. And then I flipped them around and then all that stuff fell off and then it was doing her again. It was bubbling away. So anyway, I better go and uh, go do some other stuff. And we'll just let this sit here. And like I say, I'll come back with the camera when uh, we're a little bit further along. Okay, it's been about an hour now and it is definitely taking on a bit of a blue tinge right now it's 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 going on the little uh um usb charger but you can see that it's starting to take on in one hour so you know if i warmed it up it would go a little quicker um not only this but plating too. Plating goes quicker if you if it's warmed up to around 120 to uh, 130, 140 degrees. Um, I may go get an ice cream bucket of boiling water and set it in to warm it up. And that'll that will speed it up a little bit. But I'm not going to worry about that for now. But that's one hour. We'll check in in another hour. Okay, it's been, let's see, 12, it's been two hours, and uh, it's starting to, well, it's, it's a little darker blue than than uh, what it was after an hour. Um, I just switched polarities, so now this one over here is bubbling again. Oh, so we'll let it go for an hour or two over here and then we'll flip it back and we'll just continue until it gets a little darker blue and uh, once it gets a little darker blue then she should be ready to go which will probably be t it'll probably be tomorrow by the time I all said and done I'm just gonna let it churn away um, like I say you, you can't really rush this process you just gotta let it go well you can rush it by like I say, warming it up will go, will make it go a little faster. Um, you can increase the voltage, which will make it go a little faster. But then, I don't know if you run the risk of. Oh, I can't remember how many. I had read somewhere how many amps per square inch of. But it's, this seems to work. It seemed to work on that back there, so. And uh, the stuff back there is a small, a little bit smaller jar than this, and that took a day, it took about a day to do. So, but so I'll just let it, I'll just let it churn. But this is the process that I went through to uh, nickel plate it. I went ahead and uh, cleaned up one of the zoomies. It's ready to. So anytime that this gets. Oh, to where I feel that it's good enough to go well well actually you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a little piece of brass before I go ahead and stick that in and uh, test it before I uh, go forward and make sure that it that it's uh, strong enough because I'm not sure at what shade of blue is actually strong enough because that actually when you start um, nickel plating it actually gets better and better as time goes on so that stuff back there is getting darker and darker and uh, it actually plates better and better because it's more nickel getting into the solution into the vinegar as you as you plate so because all of it doesn't go all of it that comes off of the nickel plate doesn't get attached to whatever you're plating right away so it stays suspended in the solution that's the way I see it anyway I I don't know if that's the correct uh, uh, correct presumption on my part or not but all I know is it worked for me it worked and and I did both I did uh, the jars back there the one on the left is uh, nickel plate, and the one on the right is uh, I did copper plate. So, and they, and they look the same color. And when 
I look at others that have done this. It looks green, not not blue, but it's blue. Blue in my eyes. Um, I know that sometimes I've said blue and my wife has says well, that's not blue that's green <laughs> so maybe it is green to you so but anyway I'll check back in in a couple more hours and uh, be like uh, 3 30 4 o'clock and then we'll we'll see where we're at okay you can definitely see it's taking on the blue top color now um, it's just about four o'clock and I did hook the meter up to show you how many amps it's that's that's not amps though that's uh, millivolts or milliamps so it's 7.6 milliamps is what uh, it's drawing out of that out of this um, out of that uh, USB uh, charger but it's definitely uh, taking on its blue color now shouldn't be much longer than it, it'll be ready to go but I, like I say I think I'll do that I will uh, do that tomorrow we'll just get the we'll just get the solution made today and then tomorrow we'll go ahead and and when we go to use it it doesn't take very long it's like five minutes ten minutes well it depends on, on the temperature of, of the solution but um, I think one of the one of the zoomy tubes I did took about ten minutes I think I would guess then I on the, the second one that I did I heated it up with boiling water around it and let the let it get nice and toasty that one only took about maybe three four minutes to do about half the time so but yeah it's getting there I sh I'm gonna switch the uh, the um, switch the positive and negative around now and we'll and then we'll just let her go again so I'll check back in I'll check probably back in before uh, supper time here six o'clock and we'll see what it looks like okay this will probably be the last check-in for today and uh, I would say the solution is ready for use for tomorrow it uh, looks about right I'm gonna go in and have supper and I think I'll leave this go until bedtime and then I'll just unplug it um, and we'll pick up tomorrow tomorrow what I'll do is I'll hang I will hook both these plates to the positive I'll have I've got a jumper here I'll hook a jumper across the plates so that both plates will be positive and then I'll take my uh, little zoomy and I'll hang it in the middle and what I'll do is I'll put a piece of copper wire through the hole and hang it so that it's kind of in between the two plates that way because what happens is the side where the the positive plate is at that's the side that's going to get uh, uh, nickel plated the other side won't get nickel plated near as good but if you have a plate on both sides so you're surrounding it then it it, it works much better but uh, tomorrow before I start, before I start, I think I'm going to uh, heat that solution up. So tomorrow when we start, that I'll have that solution around 120 degrees. I'll put a, I'll put a probe in. My, uh, I got temperature probe for my, or I can. Oh, you know what? I think I got a. I, yep, I do. I have an oven. An old oven uh, temp. Yeah, that goes to the bottom number is 120. That way, I can kind of keep an eye on the the temperature of the solution. 
this will come out nickel plated then <laughs> if I leave that oops I was just gonna wipe this off you know I don't want to contaminate that with any oil or anything so whatever you put in there you want to make sure that you don't have any oil on it you know because you'll contaminate your solution and then uh, what will happen is I think you'll end up with blotches in your uh, in your nickel plating so you want to make sure you clean everything real good before you put it in there I got the, the cleaner here I'm gonna clean this temperature probe clean this temperature probe up real good here don't want to put any fingerprints on it and we'll stick it in there I just want to see where the t if that needle will even come up at all yeah it won't move it's not moving because it's temperature of whatever the temperature is air temperature is in here because I didn't heat that up but I may use that tomorrow to try to keep it up. either that or I'll use the one on my I kinda like this one on my uh, um, gauge my it's uh, wire I use that for when I was doing my waxing or um, doing my coils you know impregnating the coil with wax I use that to keep an eye on the wax temperature so well anyway I'm kind of rattling here so but we started with vinegar and salt and like I say the salt if you're if you're not getting enough uh, amperage if you've got a gate if you've got a meter and you hook it up and you go oh Jesus only taking one point point one milli uh, what is it ah. but anyway if it's really low add you just add just a little more salt and it'll bring that number up so and that number has been running right around uh, between seven and eight the whole time here and like I say the solution is ready to go um, I think I'm gonna just leave it until after supper and I'll, I'll hunt up a lid and put a lid on it and, and uh, seal it up take the plates out and uh, that's that's the same thing with the plates you don't want to get oil all over those plates if you do get oil on those plates then clean them up before you use them because if you get oil like I say if you get oil or something in your in your uh, solution it's not going to work so well so and what I'm planning on doing is um, my little hoglet engine has exhaust tubes running on the side there and they're fairly long so I want to put this like in a I'm gonna go buy a glass cake pan or something and and dangle it in there probably with two or three wires and uh, put the metal plates down at the bottom I got more nickel coming I got some strips com uh, coming that are one inch wide and I'm not sure how many length how what the length is but I was planning on laying those down on the bottom and uh, trying to nickel plate my exhaust tubes for my my uh, hoglet my mini hog motor that's in and I figured well since I'm doing this and I'm making some more solution uh, I would just run through it with with you and make a little uh, video on it hopefully this video won't be too long I'm, I'll try to keep it short um, tomorrow it shouldn't be <laughs> if I get that warmed up and uh, going uh, maybe 10 minutes at the, or maybe a little more but it should it should go pretty quick so anyway that's gonna be it for today We'll catch you tomorrow. It'll be overnight for me. It'll be in a blink of an eye for you. Catch you later.